be teaching you one important trick that you can use on the mathematics section. Uh, once again, this is a timed exam and every single minute counts. So a lot of students might, you know, get frustrated on a specific question and waste a lot of time. Here's one trick to really help you with some of these questions on the specialized high school exam. Let's go ahead and focus on the average formula because the average formula is actually very important. Uh, it's also very simple for most people. The average formula is basically the sum of numbers, sum of numbers divided by the number of numbers, right? So once again, for most people, you already know this over here. So if I give you a list and I say uh, 2, 3, and 4, uh, what is the average? You take the sum of numbers, 4 plus 3 plus 2, divided by the number of numbers, so the amount of numbers. So I divide that by 3, and that's the average. Uh, so I, I, I don't think that most of you have difficulty with finding the average, but let's, you know, what can we do with this average formula? You actually have to memorize or remember a rule that's very useful for the exam, and that rule is, uh, here is the important rule you have to uh, uh, understand, which I think will definitely save you time on the exam, and that rule is, in a consecutive series, in a consecutive number series, the mean is equal to the median. What does that mean exactly, right? So the average, the mean, is equal to the median. Here's my average formula. How do I use this to my advantage? Or better yet, what kind of questions can I use this on? So let's go ahead and take a look at this board over here. And this question states, and I'm sure you've seen these kind of questions, especially when you've been taking the mock practice exams. If the sum of five consecutive even integers is 280, then what is the largest value of the five consecutive even integers? And there's about three ways you can approach this. The first way uh, most people like to do is using an algebraic, uh, algebraic equation, setting it, setting it up, and then of course finding the value of x, and then doing that. But you know what, that takes you know, quite some time. Uh, the second way, of course, is you don't know how to do it the algebraic way. You don't know how to use the rule respectively in this, uh, in this question. So you kind of try to sit down and just use a random number, which is actually a very bad way to do it. Please do not do it. I'm going to show you exactly uh, how to use this rule uh, to answer any of these types of questions. Uh, so what you have to realize in this question is that they're giving you the components of an average formula. So let's go ahead and write the average formula down again. So the average is equal to the sum of numbers over the number of numbers, right? Number of numbers. And the question states, if the sum of five consecutive even integers, okay, once again, let's, let, let's see, where does a five go? Five consecutive even integers. Is that not the value of this over here? Number of numbers, right? So it's telling you right off the back that this value is five. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So here is five, it's 280. What's 280? The average or the sum? Well, it's very clear. If the sum is 280, so here's my sum, 280, and very simple, the average 280 divided by 5 is 56. So I know that my average is 56, but what else do I know? Let's go ahead and come back to this rule over here. In a consecutive series, the mean, the average is equal to the median. 56 is my middle number. It's the median. So how can I solve this problem very easily? Well, let's see. I, I know I have five consecutive even integers. So one, two, three, four, five. And I know that added up, I should get 280. My middle number, here's the middle number, is 56. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now I, can, I, I think we can easily fill in these numbers over here. It is a consecutive even integers, right? So here it's 54, here it's 52, here it's 58, and here it's 60. What is the question asking you? What is the largest value of the five consecutive even integers? Well, for sure, 60 is uh, the uh, largest value of the five consecutive even integers. And there you go. There you have it. It's very simple. I would advise you highly to use this rule because it will save you a lot of time. Let's go ahead and take a look at this question over here. If the sum of seven consecutive odd integers is 119, then what is the smallest value of the seven consecutive odd integers? Once again, very similar fashion. You go ahead and write down the average formula. You already know that the average is equal to the sum of numbers over number of numbers. Take a look at the values that they give you over here. The sum of seven consecutive odd integers. Here are my number of numbers. 
And then of course the sum is 119. 119 divided by 7 should result in 17. So this is my average. 17 is the average, therefore 17 is also the median number over here. I have seven consecutive odd integers. I will simply draw seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which should hopefully result in 119. My middle number is over here, 17. And what are they asking for? The smallest value of the seven consecutive odd integers. So I'm trying to locate this box over here, this number over here. And once again, be very careful to see if it's an odd or even a consecutive integer series. Over here it's odd, so simply go down, 15, 13, 11, and the answer is 11. So here's a short uh, shortcut to basically doing this. Uh, you should definitely go ahead and understand the rule and try to do some more practice examples uh, using the test prep book. Thanks for watching the video. Please be sure to check out our book on Amazon. It's a specialized high school test prep book. This book comes with five full-length exams with answer explanations along with a manual uh, to go ahead and better prepare you for the exam. You will find the link uh, on the video or in the description above. Have fun studying.